Hi and welcome to my continuing series on how to be an SEO consultant. Uh, this particular lesson is going to cover SEO site analysis and I'm going to provide you with a basic reporting format that you can use and implement into your own consulting business. Let's get started. The first part of the, uh, the uh, report should include of course a title page and on that title page you want to go ahead and mention things like where did you get the project from, what day did you start the project, when are you anticipating the project to be finished, who are you dealing with at the company that you're performing the project for? You'll want to get their name and any contact information like their email, their address, their phone numbers, their fax numbers, their pager numbers. Anything you have that can make it easier for you to get in contact with your client when you need them most. And lastly, you'll want to also include the date of your last contact. And it doesn't hurt to go ahead and put in there a little line that tells you what you contacted them about. That kind of keeps everybody on the same page and at the same time it enables you to generate this report. Uh, on the fly. Speaking of report generation, you'll want to do this daily so as to keep in constant communication with your client. You'll find that the uh, more frequently you communicate with your client, the easier the project will proceed. And lastly, on the title page, you'll also want to put down the project scope. Basically, what are you doing? Are you going to be doing the programming? Are you going to be implementing and introducing tactics, strategy? Are you going to actually perform the copywriting? And if so, when, how, and what are you going to say? Will you actually implement the SEO tactics or will you more or less act as a conduit in which you develop the tactics and strategy and then provide them with the information so that they can implement it? And then finally, who is going to do the measuring and who is going to do the testing and who will make the final determination that the project has been completed per the specifications of the contract? So what do you report on? Well, for the first thing we want to do is we want to look at, uh, at the URL. Is it a top level domain URL. What I mean by that is it uh, a .com or a .net type address or does it have a lot of trailing slashes behind it uh, or does it have uh, like an affiliate ID after it. Uh, the different search engines will, will rank your site according to your top level domain so it's important that not only you that you have a top level do domain but that it's also a keyword rich domain. And then they're going to look at the domain age. When I say they, I mean the search engines. And what they're looking for here is how new is this domain? Uh, is it uh, only a couple of weeks old or has the domain name been around for several years? This will affect your quality score. Uh, other things to consider with the domain age is uh, when does the domain name renew next? Is it a month to month uh, domain name renewal? or? Do you have this domain name secured for the next 5, 10, 15, 99 years? The next item we'll talk about are your current benchmark indexes. And I usually use Google, Yahoo, and Windows Live Search to establish a benchmark as to exactly where a particular project website is already ranked at. The next thing I want to report on are the backlinks and I'm looking at again Google and Yahoo. I'm looking at inbound and outbound links. I'm looking for things like the IP neighbors and what I mean by that are common uh, misspellings or play on plays on your domain name. And then I want to look at blacklisting. Has your domain name been blacklisted by, by uh, any of the ISPs? Uh, are any of your IP addresses blacklisted for spamming or illegal content, things of that nature. And then finally, uh, again, uh, addressing the top level domain issue, I want to make sure that uh, you're not simply an affiliate that is reposting duplicate content. In part two of my initial report, I'm going to also demonstrate whether or not your site is employing black hat SEO tactics. Uh, are you cloaking any links or URLs? Uh, do you use any uh, doorway sites? And what I mean by doorways are web pages that uh, pretend to be one thing and actually open to another site. Uh, and then uh, any of the oftentimes unintentional black hat techniques like keyword stuffing, spam, things of that nature. I want to make sure that your code is clean and that you're not overdoing it with your uh, your meta tags with keyword stuffing or your meta description tag, things of that nature. And then the final thing I want to report on 
that kind of helps me establish my benchmark of, of a particular site project are the traffic, st uh, traffic trends and what I'm looking at there are traffic for the last 90 days as compared to traffic for the last 30 days in order to establish a uh, some type of trend. Are, are you getting more traffic or are you losing traffic and uh, if so why? Then the third part of my initial report will include my observations. What did I notice that is wrong with my client's site in relation to everything we just spoke about? I'll also go ahead and take a look at what uh, SEO efforts are already in place on the site and what off-site efforts are in place and whenever I talk about off-site I'm looking again at linking I'm looking at social media participation which might include Twitter or Facebook or MySpace uh, uh, different forum participation th things of that nature and I'm wanting to make sure that that uh, we're linking to other relevant content and that uh, relevant uh, content is linking back to us and then lastly I will make my recommendations remember that uh, whenever you're hired to conduct SEO your client has two expectations they want an immediate increase in traffic and they desire an immediate increase in sales so your goal as the SEO is to develop an action plan that delivers on both of those points as quickly and as efficiently as possible so one of the things I do whenever I make my recommendations or I use subcategories and I'll divide my recommendations into the following categories I'll recommend those tactics that are essential to an immediate increase in traffic and that involves the use of, of uh, keywords the use of appropriate tags and uh, making my content not only relevant but compelling and actionable then I'll use other categories such as things that I call very important, things that are important, things that are moderately important, and things that are slightly important so that we can then develop a a plan if you will to implement those essential things first and go on down the list until all of my recommendations are implemented and then and only then can we start measuring and evaluating our performance. I'm Joey Lowe. I can be found at theicellswriter.com or any of these other places, and thank you for listening.